to fulfill the dream. Please stand for a second. Repeat after me because it's somebody's birthday here that's been on this march for many months. So say, happy birthday, James. Happy birthday, James. Okay, you can all sit down now. Uh, James is a homeless electrician. Uh, you know, I've been, uh, you know, I'm Marion Kramer's, Kramer's youngest daughter. Um, so... <laughs> I haven't been doing this as long as her, and if I've been doing this stuff for 30 years, oh my God, how old is she? <laughs> okay. So I just want to start by saying, though, this is a different kind of march. This has been a different kind of march for us because on this march, um, we've had a um, uh, homeless electrician, James. Um, we have a, a homeless trucker that was on the on this march. Um, we have uh, wonderful people that we picked up from Chattanooga. We've got a wonderful waitress. Um, we have a homeless architect on this march. We had um, somebody that makes six figures on this march. Uh, it's just devastating. And I just want to, I want to say a couple other things really quick. I know I only have two seconds. Hopefully we'll get our act together. We wanted to show some kind of clip, um, but we weren't able to um, get that together because you know this poor lazy guy, uh, Jason here, has been like downloading film every night for 16 hours a day um, and uh, doing it for free in this process. Uh, but hopefully sometime during this week we'll figure out a space to be able to have people see some of the things that we've been able to experience. We started on the march on April 4th, and uh, we've literally been meeting with hundreds and hundreds of people across the country um, every single day. We've been at over 25 different stops. Um, we saw the folks that lost everything in Nashville. Some of them are here with us. Um, they lost everything due to the flood. Um, meeting with sisters and brothers that were victims of Katrina at first, and then secondly, as a result of the government. And then um, we uh, uh, you know, saw homeless encampment after homeless encampment and uh, homeless brothers and sisters that w thought that they would never be a part of the homeless population in this country. So my, my talk is very short and simple because I don't like to be cut off. Uh, the root cause uh, to poverty is capitalism. Uh -oh. Um, it's a happy day because that system is being buried in this country and uh, we're going to create a different kind of system that's about sharing. And the, one of the most amazing things that I've seen on this march, and I know some people have heard me tell my little tearjerker story a million times on this march, but uh, I saw those lessons from my seven-year-old boy, Guillermo, who's on this march, who had $2.75 in his pocket and we were in Nashville and he went into one of the houses on Mother's Day and uh, there was a little boy that was there and he had lost all his toys and everything. He was the same age. And my son reached into his pocket. My son just didn't give him that quarter. He gave him the whole $2.75 uh, because he said, Mom, I didn't need it. Um, and so, uh, you know, I was able to see on this march each and every day, these heroes, those people that stood up in this room, they are amazing. They shared their food stamps. Uh, we were at one corner where they were going to give us citations because we were panhandling for gas uh, to get from one location to the next. Uh, slept out in the rain. Uh, listened to story after story after story. And uh, these are amazing human beings that are here in this room. And we're excited to get busy with folks this week. I can't remember what the second question was. Um, You'll get to come back to it. But we'll, okay, I'm done. I got my, I got my time. Okay, bye. Actually, Sherry answered the first.